All right, guys, this is a simple repair using a Link Micro digital microscope that was recently sent to me. And what we're doing is I've got this um, 74HC595, and it is currently not using the enable pin, which is connected to this resistor, which just goes to ground. Okay, so it's not using that enable pin, but I want to use that enable pin. So I'm going to connect that enable pin to output 19. Uh, so basically we're just going to remove this resistor and then we're going to solder this 470. That's the easiest thing to do is drop that 470 in there and connect it right across just like that. So that's what ha is happening. All right, first thing that I'm going to do is clean off my iron and I'm going to add a tiny bit of solder. At, hold on a second. I'm going to add a tiny bit of solder to this just so it conducts heat really well. And then that should heat up and come right off of there. All right. So the resistor is now gone and we get a little bit extra solder off there. Okay, that was easy. And now what I'm going to do is just fit this in here. So I want uh, this to be about right there. So I'm going to bend it right here. All right, so I've got a bend in it. And then I'm going to go ahead and cut it off fairly short where it really doesn't go through the back of the board. All right, so I've got a bend in this to fit into there and then I put a hook in it just to hold it in place so let me drop this down in there it's easier to use this through hole with the wires on it the only thing we got to do is make sure that it doesn't touch right there that's the only critical place but there's a quite a big gap in there so the barrel of the resistor holds it up. All right, so got that in there. We'll just add a dab of solder, get the pad hot, and drop some solder in there. A little more than that, a little more than that. There we go. All right, and that's on through to the other side and you can see there's a gap there's a gap in there it's not quite focused at that place but anyway all right so now that, that is in place we can position oh let me get back in the center here we can go ahead and position this way that we want it like that and I'm gonna position the wire where I want it which is trying to do it on the microscope and not look at it Makes it a little more difficult. Yep, that'll work. And then we'll snip this off about right there. And push this down a bit where it's close. Let me 
I have to make sure another critical spot is right there because that pad actually goes to ground. So let me uh, make that adjustment before I solder this. Good to go. Last little thing to do is put a little bit of solder on there. Make sure it's hot enough to. Yep. And then we just need to make sure. Let's see if I can get that focused. We don't want it touching either place. So I'll probably put a little Kapton tape underneath um, this area right here just to make sure that nothing is going to touch. But it, it'll, it'll be fine the way that it is. So, all right, there's a quick repair. This is the first time I've used this microscope. It looks like the video is pretty good. It is difficult to work with your hands uh, from a different perspective, you know, trying to look at the screen, but um, sometimes you need it. But anyway, the microscope is pretty cool, and you can see these components, read them really well. So I don't have any complaints with that. This looks pretty cool. Man, that's really clear. So. I'll be using this more in the future.